Hello and welcome to the first episode of Keeping Up With The Captains. It's Jack. It's Bree. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm not sure how this is going to go, Bree. I don't know this is actually going to work. We need to keep bloopers in too and then we'll add them to the pen. Yeah. Anyway, if you're watching, welcome to our first episode. I'm not really sure what this is going to turn into and I don't think Bree's quite sure either. But we're just here to create some fun and um, try and bring everyone together during these isolating times. What are we doing today, Brie? Um, we're answering some questions that we've been asked. Which there were so many of them that we just had to pick out our favourites. <laughs> we have added a few extras in because there wasn't a lot of, uh, a lot of responses to the questions. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe this will make us more interesting and then we'll get more questions next time. Look, everyone's going to want to know everything about us, I think. Yeah, I reckon. In my mind, Keeping Up With The Captains is kind of a bit like... It's a YouTube series and we're going to chat to lots of different people um, and, yeah, entertain you, hopefully. Yeah. What do you see it as, Bri? Um, Similar. And if anyone has any questions of how we are doing, like, maybe school, like, how are we going in maybe mental health? how we're finding this um, and ways maybe we could help students continue to um, go on with school and not think, oh, it's not school because we're not at school, but still continue to make an effort and some, and after all this effort is done, we'll be able to go back to school and see each other. Yeah, I mean, it's because it's a pretty tough time at the moment. I know I mean, I've been I've been struggling, and I think Bree, you've been you know we've all been yeah. having troubles. Yeah. Hmm. So I think it's good yeah. to share that you know everyone we're all in the same boat, and hopefully in like the episodes to come we'll have a chat to people like Taylor, and hopefully she'll be able to give us some more some advice and um just yeah. important things to remember. Let's get into these questions. I'm actually really excited about the questions. Um. Oh, I might start off with the questions. Um. So Bree. Tell me, how are you finding homeschooling? Um, I'm finding it better than I did the first week. The first week was kind of a bit jumbled, as I feel like everyone else would feel. Um, it was a lot of a lot of different new things, as we had to go on the WebEx and then we had to change to Zoom, and it was video calling every for our mentor groups, which is is getting better. Um, it's a little bit difficult with certain subjects because you can't talk to your teachers in person. You have to um, SMT them or message them privately. And if they don't understand what you're talking about and what questions you're asking, it's a little bit difficult to um, kind of make it understandable so they can understand it and so they can make it so you understand the whole subject. Um, that's one of the things I think I'm, I'm finding more difficult. Um, but overall, I, it's actually going better than I thought it would. And it's all coming together. Yeah, I agree. Like, I mean, that, that first week was, like, pretty overwhelming. Like, settling in yeah. it was so different to what we're used to. But now, yeah, I think I, I agree with you. It's, it's a lot easier. I mean, it's still very different, but it's a lot easier. And I, I've, been, I've been actually waking up early and getting a lot yeah. of work done and then finishing a little bit earlier, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's how you can plan out your day so you can still like if you want to go for a walk or um do things around the house you can, still can do that so if you start earlier or if you finish a little bit later throughout the day you can do whatever you what need to do for the day or if you have work you can work around it which is really good because you don't have a certain time at school like you can if you still finish the work i don't think many of the teachers they might care but some of them probably won't if you still get what you need to get done each day for each subject, which is good. Yeah, and I think, um, um, you know, following the timetables, the guide's, like, still important, and especially yeah. with those live classes to get into them. But there, there is that little bit of flexibility, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Very good. And have a break. Go for a run. <laughs> and then go back. If you're into yeah. that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Or even walk up One Tree Hill twice in two days, and then yeah, Bree, you're a, you're an athlete now. Talk me through it. I'm gonna be able to walk, run up it one day. <laughs> Soon. 
<laughs> awesome. What's our next question? Um, what have you been doing to keep entertained? Oh, um, I know I've been watching lots of Netflix and we have our suggestions coming up later on. We've got a question about that. Um, other than that though, I've been, I've been spending a lot of time with my family. We actually, at the start of like isolation, we went and bought some darts and we've been throwing darts. I'm not very good at it. And I think dad, dad goes out to the shed and he says he's making something or working on something, but I think he actually just goes out there to practice. So now we all go out to darts and dad's always winning. Cause like he spends his all, all his day out there. So it's a bit unfair. I reckon we should um, have an A and B grade and dad can be an A grade by himself and the rest of us can be in B grade. But no, it's been fun. And I mean, sometimes it gets, it gets boring. I know my brother, especially he's finding it a bit boring sometimes. Um, and, but mum and him have been doing puzzles. They've, um, they did this a thousand piece puzzle and I, I'm one of those people that's really impatient. So I'd go and I'll, I'll come and help out. You, you know I'm impatient. I'd come and help out and um, and I go and sit down and like I'm, you know, working the puzzle and then I'm like two seconds into it. I'm like, nah, I'm done. Nah, this is boring. <laughs> what about you? Um, again, I, I've been watching a lot of Netflix as well. Um, I've been going for more walks and I'm, I'm still working. So having being able to go out to work and obviously keeping our distance, but being able to see the people I enjoy working with and being able to talk to them and actually have someone to talk to other than my mum, like people in my house, which is, is good. I've been um, spending a lot of time with mum, um, cooking a lot. Baking has been my favourite because it's actually like it takes the time away, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I forgot to mention that. I've been working too, um, of course, with my new job at the paper, but it's kind of hard because I work from home. So it's. <laughs> so I, I'm missing that social interaction because, I mean, I didn't think I was a huge social person, but um, now that I'm home all the time, I like miss, you know, seeing everyone at school and the, even the teachers, like saying hello to them. and. Exactly, yeah. Asking how their weekend's been or asking questions. <laughs> Being all nosy. Yeah, that's that's what students do. That's that's all right. What has the student leadership team meeting been doing? Um Yeah, we've yeah. had we've been having meetings, haven't we? Yeah, every single week. Um we have or the school captains have a little meeting at the start of the week with um, Taylor, so all of us. So that's vice captains yeah. and junior captain yeah. as well. Just yeah. Um, and we talk about how we are, how like how's the week going, um, how's maybe how's the weekend, um, and just talk about stuff we think we can make, um, we can do to make the students feel more, maybe normal, and that we still feel like we're all in this together. Like the whole school is because we're all going through the same thing, um, just ways we can make everyone know that we are here and we are here to talk to people. Yeah, because I think the, um, the initial challenge for us really was, like, as a student leadership team, what are we going to do? Like, we can't... Yeah, exactly. we, the social's been thrown out the window. We can't do that now. Not thrown, not thrown out the window. Taylor doesn't like that. Postponed. <laughs> Anyway, the, the social hopefully will happen later in the year, but I know that was our challenge to start with. We're like, we can't just sit here and not do anything because what's the purpose of that? Like, So I think it's great that, and we've been talking, I know we have a student leadership team meeting for it, the whole team, of course, as well, um, as most weeks, and we have been anyway. And we've been talking about a trivia night, which is a great idea, I think, and hopefully something that will happen in the next month or so. Yeah, and um, lots of other ideas flying around as well. So please, if there's anyone watching that um, has any ideas or things that they can, they thought they think we can do as a school or um, in year levels or something like that, let us know. Awesome. Well, our next question. This is one of my favourite questions because I love speaking about my Netflix addi addiction. Um, what have you been watching? Um, I have. I don't even remember what. I think I'm just going to quickly get up Netflix. I don't remember what I've watched. Really? I've been watching... Oh, I've watched Tiger King. I love Tiger King. 
Oh, I watched that. Yeah, that was so good. I mean, um, it was a bit weird, but I loved it. But I, I think the weirdness got me more interested into what um, was happening. And especially um, seeing it's like a, it's like based on a true story. Yeah, like exactly. it is. It's like a documentary. I never heard of Carol Baskin before that. Never, or except for TikTok, but. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> I've been what like I don't I just watch whatever I guess. Um, I've been watching some cold case files. Oh, some of the students dark. May, yeah. Um, some students may be a little bit too young for that. I've been watching some of the Netflix originals. So like, never have I ever that 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 is that good. Was good. I love that show. I I you everyone watch it. <laughs> Get onto it now. You know, I don't know what to watch. Uh, no, but I, I just watch, I've been watching a heap of movies on Netflix as well. Um, they have really good movies at the minute. Just, yeah, actually, I, Netflix went through a phase, I think, it was kind of before the isolation and coronavirus happened and it was kind of, mm, they kind of ran out of shows yeah, and stuff, yeah. but now they're starting to, yeah. It's... Oh, school sports. Ooh. School sports. I'm pretty sure their plan is, if we're all back to normal, to have them later in the year. Yes, I think. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, well, you do know about this, but you're not a part of it this week because you don't have a favourite TikTok. Oh, sorry. So this is... I, I haven't come up with a segment name for this. So if anyone has a segment name, let me know. So this is like funny videos slash TikToks that we're going to share. And so Brie isn't interesting enough, so she doesn't have a TikTok this week. But oh, really? I do. So I'm going to send it to you so you can watch it. And I'll put it up in the video as well so everyone can watch it. Yay, I want to watch it. This is going to be fun. It is. This is one of my favourites that I've come across recently. Iconic media moments that every Aussie knows. First of all, this man. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. <laughs> and as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. You're making me cry just watching you laugh at it. <laughs> oh, I need to go to now. <laughs> So that is my favourite TikTok this week and I actually love it. I, I saw it, I was laying here in bed and one night and I was like scrolling through TikTok and I saw it and I had to run out to show mum and Jessie and dad because I thought it was hilarious. I love it. That's so funny. <laughs> I've never seen that man, but apparently it's like... It's going to be the best at the start, but... <laughs> I know, it kind of starts off and it looks a bit dodged and doesn't look like it's going to be very yeah, good. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> but it takes a turn. So next week... I'm going to come back with another one and you need to have one too. I will have one. Or whenever our next segment is. That's a good point, actually. We're not committing to this every week. We will just do it when we can. Um, but hopefully it'll be frequent. And next time, I think we will have Taylor joining us perhaps for a little bit, which will be exciting to have um, a bit of a guest appearance. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It was great to see you, Brie. Virtually, of course. You too. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye!